All right. Oh, my goodness. Let me mute that real quick. I don't get demonetized for my zero dollars and zero cents I earn from these videos. Uh, Biscuits from Heaven, back with another Armour video. This may be the last one for quite a while. Um, I do have a, um archive video for the basketball that I'm going to hopefully release at some point. I'm incompetent in releasing videos. So. But I had to get this one out. Um, Auburn, LSU... Uh, 18 to 48, uh, the least competitive performance by Auburn since 2015. Um, pretty much one of the more competitive series in all of the SEC, especially when it comes to Auburn. Um, and uh, this was not that. This was not competitive. It was not uh, interesting. It wasn't fun. Um, it wasn't one you you look to remember. It was when Auburn was dismembered um, for the majority of the game. Uh, it's pretty, pretty piss poor performance by uh, a team that uh, gave a lot of people hope in, after the Georgia game. Um, I always had the back of my head, like you know, Georgia got their ass kicked against South Carolina for like a good chunk of, of that game. South Carolina team is not like really that good. Um, they got their ass kicked, so I was, I was in the back of my head, and they gave up, like, 30 to UAB, and I was like, eh, you know, maybe, maybe Georgia's not that good, you know, maybe, maybe they're not, you know, transcendent two national championships in a row good anymore. Um, after, you know, watching them, uh, get their ass kicked against Vandy, uh, on defense and special teams, ass kick might be a little bit much, but, you know, I think I got their ass kicked a little bit. Um, I was like, you know, maybe we really didn't do anything that impressive with scoring fucking 20 points on on Georgia and giving up 300 points or 30 yards to Brock Powers. Maybe, maybe we weren't that impressive in that game. After watching this, yes, we were not that impressive in that fucking game. Um, yeah, this team isn't good at, at really too many things in particular. Um, the pass rush has been solid, not good, solid when they brought extra bodies into the box. Um, but it's been uh, smelly outside of that. And that's me being uh, very conservative in my, <laughs> my assertion there. It's been smelly in a traditional uh, four-person front, or whatever you want to call it, basically. Um, so you, you compound that with I think average linebackers. I want to say amazing. I mean, Asante is really good um, in run support and, and you know pass rushing. I don't want to say he's particularly good in coverage. Um, Nitson is like a nice story, but probably shouldn't be out there honestly for any really good defense. Um, at least not as a starter. Um, and it, 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 no one else even matters in that unit. Um, the, the secondary. Dude, listen, dude. I like I like DJ James. Uh, he got fried in this game. Kane Lee got picked on like, like a, a you know like the the board the, the dart set just just throwing darts at him. He was a <laughs> he's a dart board today. Um, Donovan Kaufman probably like I'm not sure Donovan Kaufman has been on this team that long. Like I don't know how we haven't had anybody better than Donovan Kaufman yet. Like just get him out the rotation, but. He's, oh, uh, Jalen Simpson is probably the only guy on this team. Maybe DJ James most nights that would probably like start on another like high end SEC defense, or really a high end defense. SEC doesn't have really that many high end defenses this year, but another high end defense period. I think probably Simpson and and maybe DJ James. Pritchett isn't horrible, but I don't want to say he's like. I think Pritchard would probably start on some other teams. But how does how does that look like? You know, Zion Puckett, Kaufman, all those two just you know. Um the defensive line just, I like Marcus Harris. Um it's one of this one tackle I'm thinking of I missed on top of my head. This one tackle is pretty decent. The interior isn't horrible, but the problem is they're not like good, you know? They're like okay. Um the offense is just fucking dreadful. But, excuse me, there's one thing I have to mention. 
The offensive defense may not be that good, but the coordinators are fucking terrible. Philip Montgomery got his spot because he played with what was the biggest offensive mind for a short period of time at, at Baylor. Um, that predator motherfucker that was his head coach was also the primary offensive play caller. Uh, I know that sometimes he let other dudes call plays, but they were calling his plays, and he was really good at play designing. And Montgomery, Kendall Browse, Jeff Levy, uh, there's a lot of dudes that are living off of kind of his office, more or less. And um, I'll I'll take Kendall Browse before I take this motherfucker. The dude was terrible again. I don't know if it's him exclusively playing uh, calling plays. I don't know if Freeze had any input in this game. I know he had the sheet. They f- were fucking terrible. Almost all. I, I can't even tell you how fucking bad the management is with the personnel. I, f- for one, this is a less obvious thing I can complain about. Um, Batty and Cobb should pretty much be like... Batty and somebody else should be like the starting two running backs. Cobb, also when he gets back healthy. Hunter shouldn't be... A top two running back on this team anymore. We're just we're just past that point. Like I was huge Hunter fan um coming to the season. I thought he was a good north south back, had some good hands, had some solid pass blocking moments. I Bank Bigsby was better at that, but he had some better he had some all right pass blocking moments. Um but he was like a good like just punch him in the mouth back previously. And this season he's been like the you know kind of the emulating tank I fuck in some way, trying to dance to get the outside and all that stuff. Uh, his vision is not good. Uh, Bad T's vision is better, and Cobb is just also better as a running back. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. I just don't know why you would... If you're being, like, you know, all is fair, I don't know if Hunter should be um, a top two running back on this team anymore. No offense to Hunter. I think Hunter's still good. I don't think he's bad. I just think, like, Bad T has been, like, uh, revelatory, I would say, damn near. Uh, Jer- Jeremiah Cobb's also been really good. Alston was probably the best running back on the team before he got hurt. So, um, the receivers suck. Uh, and I don't mean to say like an offensive way, but like the receivers are like not good at football. Um, <laughs> I just don't, I don't know how to put it. Uh, I think Fairweather is solid, although the Auburn uh, brass. I guess our media really like yeah, dick wrote him a lot in the off season, and they shouldn't have done that. He's he's good. I won't say great. But he's good. Um, I think the other Titans only going to use like I mean like My- Michael Riley Ducker is supposed to be like, a huge recruit. Um, I don't I don't see that dude do anything except come in. They need seven tight ends to block for whatever reason. Um, fucking uh. Brandon Frazier, I, that might be the first time I've seen him catch a ball in like two years. I don't long ass minutes I've seen him. Uh Luke Dills, Hella Fromm, I don't know what the fuck they do, so block occasionally. Um the actual receivers are just bad. All, all of them all of them are bad. <laughs> all, 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 here, listen to this. When when people say like we have a like, no talented receiver, uh and we've had no talented receiver, like look at these other dudes going out to wherever the hell they went to. Um like, Kobe Hudson is a top four receiver on a team, I would say. Um, Tavares Dawson looked good when he got minutes. We could talk, speak about Colorado's piss-poor personnel management, too, but uh, he was good when he got minutes. Uh, Carmelo English scored a touchdown from Michigan. I think he's a backup receiver, but... Um, uh, Atlantic King caught a touchdown in Utah. I'm just listening to this at this point. Like, it... There were dudes that were, like, decent, and you got to use them. You got to involve them. So, I mean, I don't want to say these dudes, like, all suck ass, but, like, because, I mean, they're not being involved in any kind of creative way for the most part. Like, it's, some people can catch slants, but guess how many slants we run? Like, three a game. This is the primary read, which they should be the, they should be the primary read anytime you ask Peyton Thorne to throw. I don't understand the goddamn coordinator's fascination with making this motherfucker out to be, like, I don't know, like, Josh Allen or some deep ball passer that's pristine at that shit. He's not good at, at throwing the ball. I mean, his receivers are not, like, really particularly good at getting open. But, uh, well, think about that for a second. You have receivers that can't get open. You have a quarterback that can't throw 
deep on a good level. Like he's okay, decent, average, below average, not really good. Um, why would you throw so many fucking 20 plus yard back shoulder? It's the same thing with Gus. I said that shit and people got pissed when I said like two years, two weeks ago, but it's Gus adjacent. It really is. Like you can't tell me that it makes sense to call two. I think it was two straight. No, it was, it was after they scored on the slants, which I think was the first touchdown of the game for them. The next drive over. They did a back shoulder fade to Fairweather, who some fucking gerbils was like, well, it's a back shoulder, so the receiver has to plant his foot in the ground and come back to the ball. It's like, the goddamn dude's a tight end. He's not, he's not even like a, a Bowers. He's like an actual tight end. Like, I know people say, oh, my God, he's like a receiver. tight." He's a fucking actual tight end. Like, he, he moves like a tight end. He is not a uh, fleet of foot. He's a actual tight end that actually like moves like a tight end. He just happens to be a receiving tight end versus like a fucking blocking tight end. He's an actual tight end. So you guys him to come plant his foot. He's an actual DB. I don't know who the DB was, but I'll come back to the ball and the throw sucked. So it was like, what do we ask him to do? What do we ask him revolve to do in that situation? Something he can't do is something that the quarterback can't complete. That's what we ask him to do. Um. And then the next one was like a an out route to the sideline that was thrown poorly as well. So fucking, um, and listen, I mean, I know like these guys don't have the best chemistry, but like it's it's fucking game seven, and um, I don't know how much, or it's week seven anyway. I don't know how much more chemistry you're supposed to have at this point, bro. I don't know what. I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to gain more chemistry. At. Like, I don't know if they're supposed to. Have another twelve games to figure this out. I don't. Know. It's a twelve game season. Um, Colorado should do Shadur Shadur Sanders got that shit figured out like in game one with a bunch of new receivers. All the entire roster is new. You mean to tell me like they couldn't figure this anything out? And these are supposed to be the offensive geniuses. Hugh Freeze is supposed to be um, an offensive guru. Philip Montgomery, Predator Baylor, that was his guy. He was the underling to the Predator. Two offensive masterminds. I mean, they can't get shit. <laughs> they, they, they schematically fucking suck. They are running a offense that doesn't fit the fucking dudes on the roster. They're doing this fucking, like... The RPO shit comes and goes often. And then they get the traditional passing, the OD, this, like... These dudes traditionally can't fucking catch or traditionally fucking throw. So why would traditional passing? Like, I just don't... If they had their way, this would be a 25-plus a passing attempt offense. No bullshit. You can tell. They want to... They come into every game damn near except the Georgia game. Which, hey, that was the best, <laughs> fucking best game they had all year is the fucking Georgia game. Um, they come into every other game trying to uh, assert the passing game. And it's fucking maniacal because they can't do it. The, it's crazy that the best glimmers of this, this year against real teams have been when they can just line up and run the ball with either a quarterback or the running back, misdirection the hell out of it, and just assert something of, of value on the edges with the running game. And they just, you know, I mean, I know they can't do it all the time because – you know, no, no, like defense respects Ash for throwing the ball, but like the defense doesn't respect throwing throwing the ball either. I mean, it's not like we're like seeing zone coverage and shit. I mean, it's you know, I mean, it's more respect. It's not like they're just stacking the fucking box with eight dudes. But I mean, like they're still playing throwing like single coverage out there. I mean, you know, like I this. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, to me, if if you're as much of an offensive guru as you're supposed to be here. It shouldn't be that hard to like to adapt to a run first scheme. I'm not saying like I know what they should be do calling or who they should be putting out there, but at the very least, you have to say that a run first scheme is the way to go. You can't be coming out here throwing. Honestly, they should never throw four straight times in any situation. I mean, especially if some of those passes are like twenty plus yards down the field. Because I mean, we have half a season worth of evidence to say they can't do that. Against real teams. Like, I mean... 
So I guess we have like a third of a season against real teams. We if you discount some of the nobodies we played, like it just you can't do it, man. You can't you can't do it. You can't do it. You didn't do it against Georgia. You didn't do it against this team, who is the worst defense in the SEC West. Um amongst like I guess a real I don't know if they're a real contender. I mean, I, they whatever I guess you consider Ole Miss, like the uh, the people above or below Alabama, but above A and M, they're that whatever that's supposed to be. Um, I fucking back, goddamn. Um, yeah, they they just they 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 this team gave up like twenty four, I think, to Mississippi State because like it was like they gave up an insane amount against most power five teams they played. And then Mississippi State get, they gave up like, I think like fourteen or twenty four, something like that. Um, I was like. People are like looking at like the high end where they do this Florida State, Ole Miss, whatever. I was like, we are at Mississippi State. Like that's that's where we're at. We're, I'd be happy to get twenty one or some shit like that. And we didn't do twenty one. We uh we did better than fourteen, but we didn't do twenty one. Um, so that's that. Um, I don't know how else to say really. I mean, the team fucking sucks, dude. Like, I mean, not in like the like it's the worst team in the world type thing, but like. This team is like worse than it. Sh That's why I mean to say this team is worse than it should be. Like I don't care what people say. Like oh the talent is fucking terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Arkansas just played Alabama like to damn near a T, while having no time for KJ Jefferson. Their receivers are bad. KJ isn't that good at throwing the football, and they got like two yards of care. I don't think they got two yards of care. I think they got one yard of care against that team, dude. And their defense isn't good. They got like white safeties and shit. Like, yeah, listen to me. I mean, there's no racism there, but if you have like white safeties, you're not a real D. I know people say, fucking Nolan Turner. They had the best fucking front seven in the damn world, and the CBs were good. The safeties could have been fucking me and you out there. It didn't matter. Like, you see what happened when LSU said, all right, we're just going to have the best offensive line against their front seven and we're just going to make it a, a receiver against defensive back game and Eddie Terrell got fucking fraud and Nolan Turner got fucking fraud and then the next year over Nolan Turner got fucking fraud again against Ohio State it, it's just you can't have white safeties I, I, you just can't have white safeties on your team dude. unless like the rest of your team is fucking amazing you can't have white safeties on your team I just, just you can't and um we're not far removed from having white safety on this team, dude. I mean, we had some bad... Like, I don't know if Daniel Thomas was, like, a figment of my imagination as, like, a safety in pass coverage. Um, you know, I... But the fucking Zion Puckett, dude. Like, Zion Puckett, Donovan Kaufman. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not get much better, by the way. Like, the, the, the recruiting crew class this year is good. But they lost out on Solomon, Lewis Solomon, who's like just a, just chasing whatever money he can get. Um, KJ Bowden like has like a heart on Florida State, so there's that. Um, I don't. Do they have another good safety in this class? I don't. Off the top of my head, I can't think of who else they have that's like starter, like day one starter safety. Um, I don't. I don't know if they got that type of dude. Only recruited, re re committed right now, not recruited, but committed. Um, which I mean, they could find that guy, obviously, but I just don't, I don't know who they got. Um, I fuck with them giving Kane Lee, like, just a chance to get, like, you know, burnt out there. Like, I mean, I, I'm not being legitimate. Like, I actually enjoy they're doing that because I don't get what this season is. Like, I don't know why we're playing these transfer dudes so much. And we had, like, some decent recruiting pieces, uh, out of high school. And it's like, play those dudes. Like, what? The fucking season's over with. Like, the season's over with before this game. But now it's definitely over with. You cannot tell me there's a legitimate reason why you're playing Holden Gardner, Or not playing Holden Gardner, But you're playing Peyton fucking Thorne. I don't I don't know what that's about. Because he, he's fucking dreadful. Like, I don't... And it's just... It's, what are you doing? Like, you're not fucking going to the playoffs. I mean, like... What are you doing? Like, <laughs> play the fucking the high schoolers. Like, I don't... I don't get... Okay, and to this game, I understand why. Like, this game is fine and to a certain degree. Some, I don't know why they didn't play them at the end of the game, though. Like, it was a 30-point game, and they were still playing 
don't worry having to run the ball and shit. Let Holden Gardner play uh, Thompson against these fucking dudes, dude. I don't even care if you burn the year at this point. Like, you pretty much have, like, done everything except, like, say, Walker White, you're going to be a starter and you know, maybe not year one, but maybe year two. That's the future. These dudes are having Walker White be everything. Um, recruiting, developing, all that bullshit. So, like, that's going to be the guy. Who cares if Holden Gardner, like, burns an extra year? Like, it just... He's not going to be the guy, and unless you see that he's a guy. Unless you see Holden Gardner as a guy by next year, which he probably won't be here. He probably will transfer anyway this, this next offseason. But, like, unless you see he's the dude coming into next year, um, he's not going to ever play at Auburn. So, I mean, it's just, like, I don't understand what they're doing with that. Um These dudes fucking suck, bro. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying that like a mean way, or offensive way. I'm not trying to be offensive. Like it's just like I had the 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 decor, uh, the grace. I tried with the first two losses, but like people got to be realistic at a certain point. Like there's people saying like, "Oh, we're competing against Alabama because it's at home and it's Alabama," bro. Listen to me when I say this shit. Alabama's pass rush is a fucking maniacal fucking unit. Those dudes are good with a capital wood. They're good. Like, they're not... Auburn did not look good in traditional running against LSU. Like, they did some, you know... Sometimes when Ashford come in, you know, I kind of light in the box a little bit, kind of help them figure out some things with uh, running... Running back off tackle, um, Ashford made some things happen. Uh, Thorne had a couple quarterback uh, runs that were like not designed. Uh, but for the most part, just straight the middle shit. Like they're not great at that stuff. And uh, Alabama's cornerback uh, one is the best cornerback that we will see all season. Georgia had nobody as good as him. And I don't think anybody else we played until then will have anybody as good as him. So you got to just basically one side of the field is just cut off. Like we got nobody in God's green earth on this receiving court that's threatening McKinstry. I just want you to understand that. If you don't see them throw that side of the field the entire game, that's why there's nobody that is on this team that can threaten McKinstry in any capacity. I know, like, he might have got burned against Texas or, or whatever. Nobody on this fucking team can threaten, like, nobody. They can't even scheme a way to get the fucking receivers open against that dude. They can't even scheme a way to get the receivers open against fucking LSU for the most part. Like, the fucking the fades. Oh, my God, the fades. So many fades. Um, you know, so they're not going to be able to throw McKinstry. They won't have any time in the pocket. It's Oh, this, the right side of this offensive line is pointed, uh, pointedly, pointed poignantly, pointedly. Um, I just said like five different words in that. I meant poignant, like P O I, and, and then I actually said the word pointed, which also applies there. Um, by Palmer, alliteration. Um, the right side of this offensive line looked fucking dreadful against LSU, who gave up two trillion fucking yards against Ole Miss and Jackson Dart. And that offensive line got killed by Alabama. I transfer property, a better Ole Miss offensive line got murdered by Alabama and eight against LSU. Our line's worse than Ole Miss's. We're going to get fucking annihilated against those dudes. <laughs> They're, the only way they can win the game is if Milrow looks like the worst version of himself times 100. The guy against Texas that threw two picks... Um, the guy that fucking, I don't know, I, like, it, it, that, that dude is still going to put up at least, like, 17-ish, 14-ish on this team. This team shouldn't score 10 points on Alabama. I'll be honest with you. If, if Alabama just said, we're going to stack the bots, um, we're going to play too high, uh, press across the board, and just make... Auburn throw. I don't see how Auburn wins, how Auburn scores ten points. I, I don't. Maybe a bullshit touchdown. But I think Arnold like is like not that good. I think he's okay. 
don't know. I don't know about their safeties. I know Caleb Downs gets a lot of hype. Um, but I don't think it'll matter. I mean, it's just like, like how, the safeties. Who cares about? Because who, who's going to get to the safety level on, on the receiving core? Like, what are, what are they going to do? They got to run past McKinstry and get to the safety? Come on. They're going to be schemed open to get past McKinstry? Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's be honest for a second. Unless they can develop a short passing game they haven't developed all the fucking season, um, they're not doing a damn thing against Alabama. <laughs> On the offense, defense got to score like three touchdowns to win that game, bro. No bullshit. And really, I mean, what I'm seeing, bro, the running game... I know we kind of got to a point where we kind of came into the season where, like the running game the team was going to kill us in the running game because of how light the box was. And then we had like a couple of games because like California and some other nobodies. And then we were like, okay, maybe do was a pretty decent. Um, I think a and I think we did pretty decent as well. Georgia game, Georgia game kind of moving back the other way in my opinion a little bit. You know, Georgia is, Georgia had success on a couple drives. For the most part, I think we did okay against their def- uh, their running game. Today, man, I mean, I know Daniels, like, the running threat that, that LSU gives you is different than just about any other team in this entire season. I will, or this entire, like, conference. I will say that. Like, Daniels is legitimate, like, probably if he was a running back, if you, like, equated him to a running back, he'd be, like, a top five running back in this league. Probably pretty easily. Like, he's that dynamic a runner. Uh, they figured out the running game with the running backs. It's kind of by committee, but they finally figured that out a little bit because they weren't that good running the ball uh, traditionally last year and even kind of the beginning of this year. Uh, but I think Diggs is decent. Uh, they just got like a bunch of dudes that like are not like heralded guys, but are pretty decent. Uh, I think they still have John Emery, who's like fucking 85 years old, but I think he's still on like, the fucking team too. Um, they, didn't, they didn't look good. They didn't look good today. This is probably the worst running game. Uh, defense they've played all season. Uh, but, I mean, it's probably, again, the best. It, I won't say it's made it's necessarily the best, like, traditional running game they'll see, but, like, the threat is overbearing between Daniels and the, the guys they got. Uh, what, what, what was I saying? I, I don't know. We'll just end it there. Uh, 28 minutes. I could go on for another 28 about how fucking terrible this, this offensive play, uh, play calling is. Dudes are going to keep on, like, bitching about the talent. The talent on this offense is not worse than what they fielded at the back half of last year. That offensive line was dreadful pin pass blocking. Um, was the receivers weren't better from record. Remember, I mean, it's pretty much like you had Coy Moore, um, you had um. Was number zero on the team? Uh, what, what the fuck was his name? No, I think Corey Moore was number zero. The dude, I'm thinking about the dude from the transfer from Georgia like two years ago on, on Harrison's first team. I think he was gone by that point. Um, I, 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 I don't know who you had at a receiver you really couldn't emulate this year. I mean, Tavares Dawson? I don't know if I can, Malcolm Johnson? Like, I don't, I don't know. He's still on the team. He just doesn't do anything. The running backs were better, but like, you are deeper now at the position. Like you just had Tank last year, um, and you had Hunter. I don't think we had a really good third running back that I can remember. Now you have like probably three like pretty decent running back options. Um, the quarterback. I mean, you got one of the quarter the, one of the quarterbacks that played last year still on the fucking team. Like you could emulate that if you wanted to. Like the problem is that like they could emulate that scheme. And have like that, they should probably expect pretty close to that based on level of performance. I mean, the offensive line maybe a little bit. Like, the offensive line may not be worse, but it definitely is playing a little bit worse, I feel like. Outside of last game, they were pretty good last game. Georgia game, they were pretty good then. But like, they probably are performing less than you would uh, expect. Like, I think they played over expectations in that Cadillac stretch. They're definitely playing underneath those expectations right now. So, um, I don't know if that's these dudes that Freeze picked out, like, not being as good at coaching offensive line or, or being um, good with offensive linemen. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, it's like, it feels like it's like 12, p- 12 a.m. That, that game beat my like, brain down. I can't even fucking complete a thought. But, like, Will Friend's like a terrible offensive lineman coach. 
And, like, I don't know if, like, he was better than who they got right now. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but the right side offensive line is bad. But a capital hat. So, they might not be able to emulate that scheme perfectly, but they might want to give it a try because it can't be any worse than this. It can't be any worse than this. Anyway, uh, LSU 48, Auburn 18. I'm going to go, uh, I think, get a nap. Actually, I already napped today. I meant to just take my ass to sleep. I don't know. What to do. I hate going to sleep early on Saturday. It's like 12 or 11, but like, I can't even like warm me out, dude. And I didn't even watch most of it, honestly. I'm, I'm like, I watched a good chunk of the second quarter. I missed like the first drive of the game. I watched a good chunk of the first quarter. I, like, I was in and out of the fourth quarter. I watched some of the third quarter. I mean, I was just kind of like, I was, I came in. It's just, it's one of those games you kind of just like know from the jump. Like, you don't really want to watch this. Like, it was like almost like from the jump. I was like almost ready to quit. Like when it got to 17-0. Like, I was already like almost out of it. I got back into it a little bit. And I got back out of it again. It's just, this team is like boring to watch. Like, it's like the, like last year was a bad team that was like, okay to watch. Because it was like fuckery afoot. Like the Missouri game. Um, I'm just trying to think of the pre. Obviously, the Cadillac Williams games were fun to watch, but even like the pre, you know, Penn State was a massive environment. Um, you know, Josh, but fuck me, same fucking sucks to watch. It's it's maybe the worst offense that we've ever had in my time watching Auburn. We've had some shitty ass offenses. 2011 was terrible against any good team. Uh, 2012 was 2012, obviously. Uh, 2015, uh, Sean White and Carrion was okay. You know, they kind of made it work. But Jeremy, uh, 2016, when Sean White broke his fucking arm, that was tough to watch. Um, 2020 was in and out. You know, it's yeah. You know, at least the Bo Nitz teams were fun to watch. You know, a little bit. But like this, this is like the fuck. There's nobody fun to watch in this team, dude. Outside of like Batty and Cobb. This team is fucking terrible to watch. The receivers are bad. The, the off the line is bad. The quarterbacks are bad. The play calls fucking suck. I mean, there's no way to root for except let's see more bad T and Cobb. And hopefully also when he gets back healthy. That's that's all you're rooting for is those three dudes. Like, yeah, there's nobody else even root for, man. I mean, I know it's like, oh, but where are you going to fucking root for? Everybody? Like, listen, man. I'm being, I'm being for real here. Like, let's, let's be, <laughs> put the creed down and like, let's just be for real. Like, there's... This team is like not very awe inspiring. All right.